Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Esti and in this video I'm gonna show you how to deploy Angular apps to GitHub pages. I will be covering Angular version 17, so if you're interested, keep on watching. So I got this really nice comment on one of my videos if I can show how to deploy Angular version 17 apps to GitHub pages. And since I can do that, I will show you just a few of the possible ways. Now, it is important to keep in mind when you are deploying to GitHub pages that only works with public repositories. In this video, I'm going to go over the first option that I know of deploying Angular apps to GitHub pages, what I call GitHub pages manual deploy when you only use one repo. The pros of this one is that it's the simplest way to do it, the simplest to set up. The cons are that the compiled code is going to be public, the uncompiled code is not going to be backed up, and it requires manual copying the files and pushing every time when there is a new change. So the first thing that I need to do is I open up a folder, a designated folder for this specific video, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up git bash, and I'm just going to create a sample Angular app going to be a super simple Angular app. I am already using the Angular CLI, so I'm going to do ng new, and I'm going to call it GitHub option one, and um, and yeah, I'm not even going to do anything about the SCSS. Usually I would add style equals SCSS, but I'm not going to actually be working with this app. So I'm just going to create it as it is. Okay, I'm going to cd into the folder of my Angular application and I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. Here there are a few things that I need to do. Some of them are optional. In the angular.json, just to keep things simpler, I do like to remove the subfolder and I'm um, going to verify that we are using Angular version 17. Now I need to install the dependencies with npm install. And I'm going to run the app just to verify that everything is okay. Wait, npm start. Okay, let's open it up. And yep, the app runs, which is very cool. And I'm going to actually stop it. And what I need to do is I need to generate the dist folder. Actually, that's the only thing that I'm going to be using here is the dist folder. The dist folder gets generated when I build the app. I'm going to go into the package.json and I'm going to use just the default commands to build the app. So npm run build. So no matter where you're deploying your app, what you're deploying actually all the time is the contents of the disk folder, the build, the compiled files. And this is what we need here. Now in Angular version 17, apart from the disk folder, you actually have a subfolder, which is the browser folder. And depending on the choices that you make during the creation of the app, you can also have another folder which is going to be server for server side rendering. But when you are deploying to GitHub pages, you do not need to pay attention to it at all. So what I need from over here is all the contents of the browser folder, which is located inside the dist folder. Now I can go to GitHub and create a new repo. I'm going to call it GitHub option one. I'm going to keep it public. It has to be public because I'm going to be using GitHub pages for it. Now I'm going to go into my local project inside the disk folder, inside the browser folder, and here is where I'm going to initialize this repo. So open git bash here. I'm going to grab the handy code provided by GitHub and make it a bit bigger. Paste it. Okay, I'm in the disk and then browser. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna have to add and push them, so um, adding all the files. Okay, 
Angular app in Git. Okay, and now I see that all my files are here. Now, what I need to do is I need to copy the name of the repo, which I already have copied, but anyways, I'm gonna go back into Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna go inside the browser where my compiled build files are. Inside the index HTML, I'm gonna change the, the base href to the name of my GitHub repo that I just initialized. And now back to Git Bash. I'm going to add this file. Okay. And I'm gonna push the changes to the repo. Now let's verify that everything is here the way it's supposed to be. Index HTML href is the name of the repo. So what I need to do over here is I need to go into settings, pages, and I deploy from a branch. I only have the main branch here, so I'm gonna select it and save. Now, if you're curious to know why it takes a moment, you can actually have a look at GitHub Actions, which are actually being used in the background. And you can have a look and see what's going on. So when all the steps are completed, then I would be able to see my app on the designated address by GitHub Pages. Okay, everything appears complete. So I can go back to Settings and uh, Pages. And I should see the URL. And then I'm going to open it in a separate tab. And there it is. That is my built Angular app. So using GitHub pages with this approach, I can make changes to my app. But the main app, all of the files, all the source files and everything, they are not going to be backed up. And every time I make changes, I will need to manually build the app again. I will need to verify that everything is okay in the disk folder. Then I'm going to have to CD into the browser in the disk folder and git add commit and push all my changes. So every time I'll have to do this if I want to implement new changes. That's not a big deal for a lot of people. So if you're happy with this approach, you can just do it this way. Of course, it's good to know that there are also other options.